All right, what's up guys? This is Brad with Texas Bread. We are going hunting again tonight. I got a uh, Judd coming. Mike is on his way. And one of Mike's buddies from out of town. Uh, he is a, another YouTuber. I have not met him yet. But uh, from what I understand, he's a, a trapper. Uh, varmint trapper, coats, bobcats, that kind of stuff. Uh, anyways, excited to meet him, excited to get to hunt with him, and of course, me, Mike, and Judd, we're, gonna, we're all gonna have a great time, but uh, we're gonna get out here and try and find some pigs. The last couple nights have been really slow, we've had a lot of rain here, and uh, I can't get deep into the fields, so we're just kind of having to run the roads that uh, the farmers make, and I mean, it's it's freshly plowed and planted, so it's it's really really hard to get into them, you know, get into the fields where we where we need to be. But uh, anyway, we've had some good luck here in uh, some of the Sudan. We've shot several pigs several nights, and uh, we're going back after them again. That's where we're going to hit first. What up? What? Another day of pig hunting. Yeah. Hopefully they're out. Last night we didn't shoot very many. Oh, you came last night too? Yeah, Nothing. it was boring. We did have a pretty exciting night though. We found a dude in the field. Is it here? Yeah. Alright guys, first animal of the night. We have an unidentified animal. There are four of us who look through thermals quite often. <clears throat> and it's about 70 yards. And two of us are saying raccoon, one's unsure, and one is saying a bobcat. So Mike and his buddy just got out and they are walking up to the tree to uh, find out what it is exactly. Still see him? No. There it is. First coyote in Texas. First coyote in Texas. With the old uh, thermal the, and suppressor. Thermal and suppressor. All things illegal in Illinois. We got it done. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> check him out. Is that your first thermal kill? That's my first thermal kill with a suppressor. That's my first one in Texas. Heck yeah. That's awesome, man. Here with Mullet Man. Texas bread. Awesome. That's well, a good puppy. job. Now we gotta go try to find some pigs. He never shot a pig before, so we gotta mm. get him on pig. We got the hard part out of the way now. Pig's easy. Should be. Right? It should be. But be man, they've been moving late here lately. So what do you look for whenever you're trapping? He's oh he is rubbing, huh? Mm-hmm. He's rubbed hard. Right there, late in the year. They'll go in and out. I can't show that. So, yeah. how, so why do they rub? They rub late in the season, going in and out of the dens. Oh, that's a, so. It's not them actually rubbing them with their. It, like it, they're not biting at their. Back. It's a it's a part of it, but a lot of it's just them going in and out of their dens. Gotcha. Uh, but you you look at the guard hairs. In the under fur, see the, the under fur compared to like our Illinois coyotes. See how you can see almost all the way down to his skin. Yeah. Even our Illinois coyotes will have a thicker under fur, and the further west you go, it'll be real heavy. Huh. And this strip right here. That's the money strip. That's the money strip. That's what they want to use for for trim. And then if we flip them over on the heavy coyotes, the white bellies is also what they want. Huh. But cool. Yeah, if I'd show you this compared to even one of our Central Illinois dogs, it'd, uh, it'd, you, it'd be a major difference. Yeah. You could see it. But that's awesome, guys. Texas, Thank you. Texas. Thank you, dog. But it's got the option. You could, uh, in like 30 seconds.
Texas Coons. What what is that color compared to y'all's? That's not good. No? Mm mm. That's real that's real blonde. You like them dark? Mm hmm. Where they've got the big, big crisp white, you know, black lines to it. But see, there's just, I don't know, you gotta look at, you gotta look at one of ours to see what I mean about that. They're so much more fluffy. That under fur, you know. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing, there's like a whole nother layer of hair there in ours. Hmm. Like, you, you'd pull that back and you couldn't see skin. Y'all have a lot of ticks. Fleas. Mm -hmm. Fleas and ticks. I wonder how deep it goes. Oh, that's their hole. That's where they're living. That's it right now. Dad, how do you have it? Huh? How do you have it? Uh, that, that's the trigger guard. set it upside down in there if you want. That was awesome. Heck yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. Very nice meeting you. That was we'll awesome. do it again. That was the uh, that was the highlight of my year so far, man. That was awesome. <laughs> well, I wish we had more time, dude. No, Get you on some pigs, but. That was great. It's just kind of weird right now, so. We are going out pig hunting tonight. I am taking a buddy of mine, Jeff Vest, and his son, Grant. Grant has never shot a pig before. And we are going to go get him on some pigs. We're taking out the PWS 762 by 39 and uh, my new, my new uh, rifles. And we're going to see if we can get the job done. It has uh, been pretty slow here lately, but it's finally full moon is over. Full moon was over last Sunday. And uh, we're going to go try and get on some pigs. Back ones, Grant. One, two, three. I know. Yeah. Uh, he took a headshot. Dang, y'all can get a little closer. Put it on your shoulder. This one's going to be interesting. Yeah, you got my hair right. Who shot that one? Everyone. <laughs> Yeah. What I mean, kid? What kid shot that one? Raise your hand. You did. Oh, well, the baby's she was pregnant. It. Well, you know the rule, right? Hey, what? somebody got a headshot on that baby. Oh, oh my God. Oh, putt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rule is, if you're the one that shot it, you got to eat the heart. You got to taste the heart. No. Huh? No. You sure? No. Or did you one. shoot I it? Shot yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> It feels so weird. Dude, that is nuts. Alright, so that, I got six. <laughs> we got six it. pigs on this one. It's interesting. It is. It's really cool. So we got six. Yeah, six total. Good job. Good, good, good job, guys. Awesome. Yeah. It was like biology Wait, class, wasn't it? Yeah, but there's no cranky teacher. <laughs> Just putt, just putt, that's it. <laughs> All right guys, so tonight was a little bit slow, but we got Grant his first pig and uh, he really enjoyed it. I took out, uh, we had some other kids go with us too. We had a buddy of mine, Putt, as y'all seen in some of the other videos, he brought out two kids that, um, some buddies of his, he brought their kids out that hadn't shot pigs before. So. We ended up, uh, we ended up getting, I believe we got four pigs tonight and we just got done taking them to the butcher. So uh, he's not gonna butcher them up. I'm actually just using his freezer because I moved into a new place and I do not have a freezer here yet. So, uh, and I'm unable to butcher them down right here in the neighborhood that I moved into. So 
I dropped it off at Fortson's and I am going to end up smoking them uh, sometime this weekend. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.